In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make uh, restructured text or markdown tables uh, using LibreOffice Calc like this. So I've set up this table, I press F5, and it brings up a fancy looking ASCII table. To get started, you're going to want to come to this GitHub page. I'll leave a link in the description, and then you'll click on clone or download. I'll download the zip file, click OK, and I'll save it to my desktop. And once that's downloaded, I only actually need one file from this. It's called calc to ASCII table. I'll drag that to the desktop. So we downloaded dash table, but this isn't actually how you install it. The best way to install it is by using pip. So you'll need to have Python installed as well as pip. And I will come down to uh, the search bar here and I'll type in CMD. And I'll right click on CMD and do run as administrator. It'll ask me if I am sure that's what I want to do, and I yes. And then I'll uh, type in pip install dash table. Oops, misspelled. Just like that, and click OK, or press Enter. So it's going to download dash table, and then it also uh, installs uh, beautiful soup. It's right here, so it installed beautiful soup and dash table at the same time. So now if I uh, go to my... Python folder. I'm using Python 34, so this is where it's at. If you're using 35, it's uh, probably somewhere else. But you, if I clicked here, go to lib, and uh, go to site packages, you should see BS4, which is beautiful soup, and then you also see dash table right here. So it's installed both of those in the correct uh, location. The trouble is, though, that uh, LibreOffice Calc actually it comes packaged with its own Python, and so the libraries that are installed here in our, our system-wide Python don't actually get installed into the uh, folder for LibreOffice. So what I'm going to do is go to LibreOffice's Python, uh, which is located here in Program, Python Core, right there. If you need the full address, that's where it's at. You go to LibreOffice 5, Program, Python Core. And you can see in here, that's where Python is, and then the libraries are stored in this lib folder, and then in uh, site packages. So I need to grab BS4 and dash table. I'll press Control and click it, and Control C to copy, and then come over here and paste. And you have to be an administrator to do it. All right, so now the libraries that we need, beautiful soup and dash table, are installed in the correct location for uh, LibreOffice. So now all we need to do is bring in our macro in the right spot, and that is in share and uh, scripts, Python, and I'll put it in this folder here. Okay, so once again, this is where it's at. I'll leave a note in the description for where to put it uh, for Linux users, and Linux users actually have it easier. All they need to do is put uh, the macro in the right spot, and then install using pip base64 or um, beautiful soup and uh, dash table. And actually, LibreOffice uses the system-wide Python for people using Linux, so it's not as much of a hassle. Anyway, so now that we have everything in the right spot, I will open up Calc. And I want to link the macro to a keyboard shortcut. So I'll go to Customize and scroll down here. Open up uh, this right here. It's going to ask me if I want Java installed. I don't need it to have Java installed uh, because it's not a Java program. It's Python. And then I'll open up Share and go to Calc to ASCII. And there's two functions inside this macro. Build MD, that means markdown tables or restructured tables. I like the restructured tables more. And then I'll come up here and I'll press F5 because that's the key that I want to link it to. And once all these are highlighted, I'll click on modify. So now the F5 key is linked to uh, run the build RST function. So I'll click OK. And now I should do an example. So I'll do col span. And uh, to make a column span, you just highlight you know, all the rows you want and then right click go to merge cells and then row span let's show that off so I'll highlight this one and this one and do merge cells you can actually do both too so I'll do uh, both row span and column span and then I'll just uh, show you what one cell looks like and so now if I press F5 you'll see what the macro will do 
All right, so it brought up Notepad, and it has written inside Notepad this fancy-looking table here. And that is how you install this macro in uh, LibreOffice and use it here. Now, it will use any any software for uh, note or for text files. It just uses Notepad because that's what the default is for the system. But if you like using other uh, programs too, that's just fine. It'll use that too. It's just whatever the default is for opening text files. So I hope you find that useful. Thank you.